So this is what I did myself, a non-computer scientist, using the Word document. Creating the link, the linkage, we have login and so on, and this is what I've done. So that uh, based upon this, we're able to use a hypertext makeup language, convert it, and then later people use the GSP to do the website creation. And I assure you I've learned something which people are using like the brand software for, for the storage of data. And uh, I created something else also different from the work, which is good for a, a research center also in Ghana, where they can use it to store their data, which they are at the moment using BRAM software, which they bought at a huge price from a company in Britain. So permit me just a few minutes to take you around this uh, so that uh, we know if we are able to start from the scratch to teach the young ones, they will be able to pick up something good to help our country, Africa, back home. This is uh, something for a research center in Ghana. I designed this for them. My limit is to the HTML. That's where I can reach as a non-computer scientist. They have herbal products. One of the herbal products is Miss Nibima. So under that, I created the link, linkage, the plants that they use. So you can have a list of plants that they use. Another product, herbal product, is Miss Tonica. Then we have the plants that we use. Then when we go to the other side, we have treatment, malaria, urinary tract infection, and so on. So what are we, we always keep on saying, if we start from the bottom, those who don't know anything, and we give them the concrete, practical act, like me, who didn't know anything about the creation of multimedia. I think it will go a long way to help our African developing countries very well, rather than going theory, theory all the time. OK, just about two more minutes left. No if we are able to learn something out of this, I'll be very happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So let me move on. So we developed those tables and using H uh, hypertext makeup language, we convert them. And my colleagues, my colleagues who are experts in the MySQL using the JavaScript, they were able to create the website, and we have the website address over there. You can use the Mozilla Firefox to assess what we have done. And what we have done is that, multimedia for learning. First, the name, password, and email address are required to register a new user. I think the series are there, register page, and so on. I think we have a whole list of them. You can go to that website and look for them. The steps are there for people to follow. Since the time is limited, I could have taken you through all these things. But what we have done is, if you have any queries for us, just feedback, go to the feedback site, and then send us the email, and then we will just look at that. So discussion, we agree that learners should construct their own concept maps, which at times may be cumbersome and tedious. Henceforth, computer-based concept mapping software may play an important role by alleviating them from set tasks. Then learners attempt 
for giving the attention and determining their concepts, subconcepts, and so on, will however increase the awareness of success or comprehension and remembrance by the help of these properties, such as ach achieving attention and concretizing the information with his or her own preference. The structured multimedia platform has some important roles in agreement with Akanat and Addis statement that computer-based concept maps enable listening test comprehension easier and more concrete than traditional education methods. I think there is another confirmation in line with uh, all tintas and all tintas in that way. The same thing applies to that author. Conclusion is also there. But let's look at the benefits of these uh, multimedia software that we have created. It can be classified into three major components. The benefits of what we have done as a source of engagement, it's a way of multimedia dimensional performance and usage. Under engagement, there are questions, and out of the questions, we get the usage. Does it involve knowledge construction? Asynchronous multimedia generate knowledge construction. When you go through the program, the website, and you follow, then you know that you are developing some knowledge. It allows the individual to construct or develop content or personal knowledge. Can it support crit critical thinking? Definitely, it will enhance crit critical thinking, which allows analytical sequencing and better comprehension. What media that I mentioned performance? There are also questions. Is it universal or versatile? The default asynchronous multimedia is usable in almost all domain or concepts. Does it enhance transfer of learning? Yes, it does, because it promotes skills development for users. Thus, it can help users to think better, and the skills acquired can be applied in various fields. Usage. Can it be considered as very simple and at the same time powerful? The link linkages created in the asynchronous multimedia could be considered as simple with powerful medium of thinking and comprehending. How easy it is to learn? The creation is efficient and easy to learn and can be adaptable at schools. The platform has traceable channels which users can follow to promote learning. So thank you, Marasi Kitos. <laughs> so that is all that we have done for our stay here. As far as, uh, I have registered, so I will just go straight away with my username and password and see what we follow. Because I have registered, as soon as I log in, I have another interface where on the left side we have the concepts. So we start from the top, we have a edit profile icon. So you see, welcome, my username is there, J-A-M-E-Y. So I have been welcomed to the web page. Then, we have edit profile icon. Here you can add your picture. So you can click on it and add your picture. I don't have my picture at the moment. So I can't. So choose a picture and then you load. So you can modify, as you can see, everything that we have done. Then you can take any concept that you want. So I have selected English. Under English, we have a sub-concept, grammar. So I choose grammar, and I'm asking myself a question, what is predicate? So what is another question is, what is indirect uh, object? And this question was loaded by how one of our participants. Then we can look at add concepts which you can add yourself. So what concept do we want to add? Now we are in English. So if you want to add 
עוד קונספט.